Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a bunch of League stuff to look at for Starlight Festival, along with a sort of new battle update, so let's get into the video. Alright, so first off, let's go ahead and talk about this battle update a little bit. So if you go into your pet book, which we are going to do right now, you will see that some pets have a new stat, which is called... what is going on? So I was, I was saying there is a new stat called Dodge right here, which this one, Tribe has um, one of 1171. And then also spells have new stats. So Power says 1870 and Aim says 1310. Um, I'm not really sure what those are supposed to be, like what that's based off of, like out of 2000 or something. I don't really know. But th those are interesting. We also have order, which was the re which used to be speed, I guess. Um, so order sort of seems like it's speed. What order you're going to go in, pretty much, and then dodge, I guess, could be replacing critical hit or in, in a way, or it could be your chances of your opponent missing or something like that. I don't really know. Um. I'll have to do some more research on it, and I'll let you guys know in a future video what that is about. Now, we also have a bunch of Starlight Festival leaks and even some Dragon Isle leaks. I'm only going to go over the Starlight Festival leaks in this video because um, I'm going to try and make the Dragon Isle one into its own video. But before we get into that, I just remembered um, some pets were also updated. Three of them were... Um, I believe they were, yeah, here, so I think this is Hyphon, yeah, so Snoot, Hyphon, and Glorious were updated to be rasterized, so yeah, these are their icons now, and as I showed, those were the uh, sprites for them. So now we are going to move on into some of the Starlight Festival leaks. There are a ton, so I'm not going to show icons for some of them, like there are pet gear and some wands that I'm not going to show the icons for, because this video would take way too long, and as I said, I'm going to try and post two videos today. So let's go ahead and check out those Starlight Festival leaks. Okay, so we are starting off with some mounts. This is the first one. This is called Icon Mount 30. And this one sort of looks like it's just a star. I think it looks pretty nice. Here is the spine for it, so all it is is just a shadow. And then the star, so not really anything special about this one. I am going to, I am going to show all the animations for the spines on my second channel in a video later today. Um, because I'm not going to have time to like show the spines in the animated form today but let's go ahead and move on to the second mount which is probably my favorite this is what it looks like um i really like this it's sort of like a black hole or a galaxy and it looks like they're just shooting star up here so that's the icon we also have the spine for it which is right here you can see a lot more detail on the galaxy, I'm guessing this is, and then the shooting star up here. And then there's this little thing right here, I don't know where that's going to be on the spine. Um, you should see it in the video on my second channel if you watch it. Now we also have a third spine that's, or a third um, mount that's for Starlight Festival. So this one looks like it's going to be a rocket ship. This is Icon Mount 33. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is no 32 for this video because there is a mount that's going to be for Dragon Isle that I'm not going to show in this video. But here is the spine for the mount. So um, I think this is probably going to be in the background. This will be in the foreground and you'll be inside of this, I'm guessing. Now, I already showed this next one, sort of. This is Icon Follow 169. This buddy is already in the game. I can't think of its name right now, but it got updated to be HD and rasterized. So this is the icon, and then this is the spine for it. I think that it looks pretty nice. I haven't seen what it looks like in-game. Uh, I don't think I actually have it, so I can't really show it. But 
here is another buddy this is icon follow 317 so this is going to be a whale starlet festival buddy i assume and this is what the spine for it looks like so this is the head this is the body there are a couple eyes down here these will be fins and then this i assume will be the back fin and then there's one more starlet festival buddy which is this um, I think that this is supposed to be a horse. I think that it looks really nice based on the icon. So this is follow 318. And then here is the spine for it. So I think this will be the main. This will be the body. These will be legs. And maybe this will be a tail. This will be a head. This will be an eye. And then I don't know what this thing down in the bottom right is supposed to be. But I think that this buddy is going to look really nice. Now, moving on to an outfit, I think that this one looks so cool. It sort of looks like um, one of the arena rewards from past arena, um, but I really like how this one looks. Um, there isn't any um, one for what it will look like when you're wearing it because those because they don't have them like set up since it's all animated and stuff so you can't really see what it's supposed to look like now we also have a relic for this which this one looks super cool it sort of looks like saturn or uranus with how it looks and i think it looks really nice now we also have this outfit which also seems like it was themed around one of the um, arena sets from the arena season that I was talking about. I think it was probably arena season three. Um, so this one sort of looks like it, it would go along with that theme. I don't think that they're going to release another arena season though. But we also have this relic right here, which I think looks so cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on to an item, which is this. It's Sort of looks like the green slime ball that we got in the treasure track last year for Pumpkin Fest. So it's just that, but purple. The original is green. Um, and then this is what it's going to look like when you throw it. So this is a spine, so I'll include that in the video on my second channel. And here is the general chat HUD, which you can see down here. This is what it's going to look like when you're trying to throw this. So this will be if you do have it, and then this gray one will be if you don't have it. So now we have a new pet. This looks like it's going to be a second evolution of Bloomkin. Um, I got that completely wrong. It's supposed to be an evolution between Darkseer and Gore Shadow. I believe based off of what it looks like, it looks like it's going to probably be an evolution of Darkseer. So this is the icon for it. We also have the spine, which looks like this. Um, I don't think that this is in game yet. So I just checked and this pet was definitely not added to the game. So we are going to move on to this next thing, which is just the aim. I don't really need to show you guys these ones. Now these next few are a few wands that are going to be in Starlight Festival. So these are sort of just purple versions of the wands that we already have in game. So this is the first one. Um, this is, I think, like a yak one or like a goat one. Then we have this one. I don't know the name of them. any of these. Um, this one's like a claw. This one, uh, I don't even know how to describe this. We have one that looks like a lion. Um, then we have this one, which is like a hook. I think these are all supposed to be constellations, but I don't know my constellations. Um, we have this one, which I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, we have this one that sort of looks like a lobster. It's probably not, though. Um, then we have this one that looks like a crossbow. This one that looks like a goat. Um, this one that looks like a pot, um, these ones that look like fish, and then we have some pet gear. So all of these ones, um, are just recolored versions of ones that we already have in the game. The ones that we have in the game are blue and yellow. These ones are going to be purple and yellow. So now moving on to the pet gear, these are, the first three we're going to be looking at are pet hats. So... 
I really don't even know what this one is. It's just like teal. Then we have this one, which I don't know how this relates to Starlight Festival. I think it is supposed to. Um, it's a yellow banana that has this purple on it. And then the third one is sort of looks like Milky Way, which is the um, cow that Armani Star, I think is her name. I think that that is, or I think this is supposed to look like um, Milky Way. Then moving on to the pet relics, this one is another one of those teal ones. These ones look like the helicopter uh, seeds that we got a pet relic for. We also have this one, which is just a star. And then this one, which looks like the moon. And then moving on to some stuff in the data, none of this is really too interesting. So it says battle revamp text dodge. And then there's going to be some new dialogue for when you lose your charge level that says, What just happened? Your charge levels were pulled away from you. The puppet master must have something to do with this. We need to defeat him and find out what he did. So... Um, that's just explaining why you don't have charge levels anymore, because when you go into hard mode, you lose your charge levels, and now you can level up to 150. And then, Hint 13 used to say, complete bounties from the bounty board in Lamplight Town to earn awesome rewards. And now it says, be sure to return to Prodigy every so often. New content is added all the time, which I feel like they've had that hint before, so, um... That's kind of odd, but yeah, those are all the leaks that I'm going to be showing in this video. There are some really interesting Dragon Isle leaks that I have to show, so look out for that. It should come in about an hour or two after this video, but yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about Starlight Festival if you like what we're seeing so far, and yeah, bye.